Hey guys, it's Chili here. Welcome back to Hardware 3D. In the last video, we got our project set up. We got our build settings all done up nice, like we like it. And uh, we got our entry point here. And in this video, we are gonna create our first window. Uh, but before we do that, let's just take a look at what all this junk in our entry point actually means. So we're gonna go back to MSDN. And uh, we're gonna look at what is, what is all this stuff. Well, it's an entry point. Obviously, it's gonna return a uh, exit code which means zero means success, no problem, and anything other than zero means there was a problem. Uh, and generally, we just return zero, right? Uh, now, we are taking four parameters here, and this is a little bit of bullshit, because this entry point, is, it basically hasn't changed since Windows 3.1 back in the early 1980s. So, there's some stuff here that doesn't really make sense. Um, Specifically, we have two things called H instance. These are pointers to structures that hold information about our program, uh, where it's you know where it's loaded into memory, stuff like that. And uh, the thing is, the second one is always going to be null in Windows. Back in 16-bit Windows, it was something else. Now it's always null, so you can just ignore that one. You can ignore this one. H instance, you could also ignore it because there's a function that returns H instance when you want it. It's called get module handle or something like that. Uh, but you could also get it from this entry point and you need it when you're creating windows. This one is very important. This is your command line. So when someone runs your program and they, they uh, pass extra parameters through in the command line, here is where you're going to receive them. So you receive the entire command line as a single string, which is different than the standard C and C++ entry point where you receive it as a parsed array of tokens. So here you just receive a single string and you process it any way you like. The last value here, we're not going to use it, it is command show, and it is basically an indication to the program of how the window should be shown when it is created for uh, your program on startup. So we don't care, we're just going to show the window, we're, not, we're going to ignore this value, but it's here, all the information about it is in here if you want to use it for some reason. And the last thing that might be unfamiliar to you guys is the callback here this little modifier for the function, and it is telling C++ to use a different calling convention for this function. It should use std call, which passes parameters on the stack a little differently than the standard C calling convention, which is cdecl. And you'll see this for functions that the Windows API has to call, so callback functions. Um, they Because the Windows API uses std call, any functions that you create that the Windows API will call have to have the std call calling convention. And there you go. That is the explanation of our entry point. Now, let's create our window. Like I said in the last video, to create a window, you have to register window class, and then you have to create instance of your window. So the function to register windows class is register class, and there's a bunch of versions here. Usually for a lot of Windows functions, you're gonna have a normal version and then an EX version, which is extended. And that's the newer version of the function. So we could probably get away with just the normal version, but let's use the new version anyways. Register class EX, so what does it take? Well, it takes a constant pointer to Windows class EX A. A is just, you know, non-unicode. So that means we've gotta create a Windows class EX structure. And this is a very common in Windows API and Direct3D. When you want to initial, when you want to uh, configure some object or something, instead of passing a whole bunch of parameters to a constructor, you generally fill a configuration structure and then pass a pointer to that structure to the creation function. So let's create a Windows class EX, and then we'll call it. We'll just call it WC. It's always good practice to zero out a configuration structure before you fill it. So we'll do that here. And then we type WC dot and we can get a list of all the different uh, members here. There's quite a few of them. You might be wondering what they do. It's pretty important. So very simple. Look up win class EX on MSDN and you will get the uh, syntax of the structure and you will get an explanation of all the members. Uh, so let's go through them. First member. Size. This is very common for configuration structures. You got to fill this guy with the size of the structure. Uh, next thing here is the style of the class, the class style. So there's a bunch of those guys. Let's click this link here. 
you get a link to a page that doesn't have the class styles, classic MSDN. But if you look at class styles here, now you can get a link to the actual list of class styles. So there's a bunch of class styles here. These are, if you look at them, you can see they are binary flag, bit flags. You can or them together to combine styles. The one that we're gonna be using is right down here, CS own DC. So this is a bunch of bullshit, but basically DC is device context. And this is important for when you draw to a window using the normal Windows graphics API called GDI. So doing own DC will give every window that we create its own device context and they can be rendered to independently uh, which might be useful if you want to spawn multiple windows for your application at once it's not something that you usually do with a game but i want to be able to support that so we're going to make it own dc now the next one here is the most important member of this whole structure it's called the long pointer to function window proc and this is a pointer to a function that is going to handle all the messages for this window so this is very important because the process that handles all the messages determines the behavior of the window and it also determines the how the window looks because one of the messages that you handle is the draw message which tells you to draw the window. So how you handle that message determines how the window is going to look. So for this guy we're going to start off by passing him a pointer to the default windows procedure which just has a basic catch-all to handle all the important messages that need to be handled for a window. But later on we're going to create our own custom window procedure and we are going to pass a pointer to that when we create the class. So. This is going to be the default guy for now. Class extra. So this allows us to allocate some extra bytes in the, uh, the class that we can use to store custom data. We don't need that. CB wind extra allows us to allocate extra bytes of data when for every instance of a window that we create of this class. Again, we don't need this extra data to be stored on the Windows API side. So we just set this, these two to zero. Each instance is the, the each instance that we get passed in. Now we can pass in custom icons and uh, we can choose what cursor we want for application. But if we set these guys to null, then we'll just get the defaults and that's what we're gonna do. We can also uh, set a brush. This is uh, again a GDI thing for drawing. And if we set a brush, that's the brush that will be used to draw the background of the window. Now, if we set this guy to null, that means that windows will not draw the background of the window and we will have to draw it ourselves, which is good because we're gonna be drawing the whole window over with direct 3D anyways. We don't want windows to waste its time drawing over that when we're just gonna draw over top of what windows did. Next thing is we have a menu name. We're not gonna be using menus obviously because we're just making a game thing. So we set this to null. Uh, this one is important. This is the class name. This is the name that is gonna be used when we create windows of this class type. So when we call the create window function, we gotta pass it the same class name that we use to register our class. And the last thing is we can give it a handle to an icon to set a custom icon for our application. And uh, we might do this later, but we're not gonna do it right now for sure. All right, so that's all the members. Let's set them up. So we set the size to the size of the structure. Set the style to CS own DC. And we're gonna set, what is it? The LPFN, the Windows procedure, equal to def window proc, which is similar, but yet distinct from def leopard and def jam. WC dot. All right, so here's the, uh, the extra data. So we want zero extra bytes in the class structure that is stored at the uh, API side and zero extra bytes for every window that is created of this class. We don't need it. Now, each instance is just going to be the H instance that was passed in. H icon, H cursor, and H background are all gonna be null. So cursor, and I use the standard C++ null pointer. I don't use the macro that Windows defines. The capital null. And so that's a cursor and each BR background. There we go. The menu name is also going to be null pointer because we don't got a menu. And but the class name is very important. And instead of using a magic constant, let's just go const auto. Class name is equal to hardware 3D butts. Because you know, it's me after all. You gotta make it dumb. There we go. There's the class name. 
each icon is again we don't need that so there you go we have set up our configuration structure beautiful get used to this because we're going to be setting up a lot of configuration structures or descriptors as they're called because we're going to be doing a lot of configuration all right register class ex and that's easy we just pass the pointer to our configuration and it should be done this should register our class for creating windows on the windows api side and now we can refer to that when we want to create specific window instances and let's create the window now so create window and we see now here there is an ex version of that okay here we go so this one does not take a configuration struct it just takes a bunch of parameters in the function uh so we've got again more styles beautiful more flags to look up and the class name that we for the class that we registered the name we want for our new window more styles again style we, we got to be stylish right when we're creating our windows position of the window dimensions of the window handle to the parent but since the window we're creating has no parent it doesn't have it just we've just passed null in here there's no menu uh each instance is again that that stuff that we got and uh this one is a a parameter that we can pass in uh, that will be able to be used to configure this custom data that we can pass to our window when we're creating it and we'll be using this guy later on when we create our sexy uh, wrapper class but for right now we just ignore it no pointer so the most important thing here is what kind of styles do we want for our window there are two classes of styles here there's the ex styles those are the ones that are only available when you call the ex version of create window and then there are the normal styles so in the extended window styles you can see there's a whole bunch here and we can specify a whole bunch of different things about our window does it accept drag and drop files what kind of edge does it have how does it paint its descendants all this crazy horse crap uh mdi child yeah no we don't want i don't think we want any of these it's a transparent window no we're just we just want a normal window just give me the normal give me the give me the number one so let's just jump in here so create window is going to return a handle to the window and this is important you need that handle in order to to do operations on the window later on so we want to we want to store that so we each wind is equal to create window ex so the first thing is the ex style i don't think we need any ex style so we'll just put that as a zero the next thing is the class name that is just p class name right good now i lost my intellisense it's back now thank you p window name so we need a name for our window and we'll just call this one happy hard window because we're doing hardware 3d well not today but eventually eventually in no time now dw style okay so this is the normal windows styles the non ex of the non ex persuasion as we say so what kind of styles do we got we can have a border we can have a caption something we can be a child or something like that we can clip our children we can clip our siblings we can do all sorts of stuff what do we want for our window well we're going to want a caption and we're going to want a minimize box so that we can have a minimize control so that is minimize box and we're going to want a sys menu just because i like i like a window that has a sys menu here it is so we want these three but you could add different ones you could expand experiment with them see what they all do i'm not gonna you know spend an hour experimenting with all the different possible combinations of window styles i don't think you would find that particularly interesting and i know i would as much as i respect your time i respect my time even more so minimize box is the one that we want and w s sys menu Man, that's not how you spell that is that sys menu yeah there you go now please turn purple okay missed one minim minims minims there we go beautiful so we got our style set up here it's gonna mash all these flag bits together it's gonna make us a nice style next thing we got if i can get my intellisense back thank you very much is the position of the window i don't really care where i put this window let's put it at 200 200 the width 
we'll put it at 640 by 480 because that's the resolution that master of orion 2 runs in and now no pointer what's this stuff the window handle to the parent that's a big no pointer what's the next one you can't see it but it is the handle to the menu that's a no pointer next one is the handle to the instance that's the h instance and the last one is a long pointer to a custom parameter that's another big no pointer that's a no p all right this is the wrong that was the wrong kind of bracket that's the right kind of bracket so here theoretically we have created our window and it was good and then we can rest but the question is what will this do well it's going to create the window and exit immediately so that's now we want let's go while true beauty build builds successfully let's run it and we get nothing we get nothing you lose good day sir why do we get nothing well well that's a good question this is, that's a good question next question now uh here's the thing first off let's just make sure create window is actually working so we can verify that fairly simply we'll put a break point there we'll step over this we'll check the value of h wind h wind seems to have a non bullshit value which means that create window did indeed work but we still we still got a little ways to go so you won't be able to actually see the window until you call show window on your window so again you should be familiar with the drill show window function show window takes handle to the window takes the command what is the command well there's a bunch of different ones we want sw show to activate the window and display it in its current size and position all right so show window show windy hwn that's our handle to our window and the command will be sw show give give there we go let's see what we get wait we got a happy hard window and you can't see this but it's sh also showing up in my uh in my task manager forget what you call this thing anyways it's here the window's here you click on it absolutely nothing happens it is completely frozen um which makes sense because we are in a uh, while loop here but it's not responding to any kind of input here close that sucker so we've created our window we can see it but we clearly have some more work to do remember i told you windows is about two things it's about windows we got that now it's also about messages we ain't doing shit about messages yet so in the next video we are going to get down with the message the message of our lord and savior sir william gates but until then i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please click the like button it helps a lot and i will see you soon with some more hardware 3d